Well, other election news tonight. The Prime Minister is still hearing from Canadians after he cancelled his plans to attend the royal wedding in England next month. The campaign will keep Stephen Harper and his wife Laureen in the country. And the Harpers are not the only Conservatives who will be missing out on some very important nuptials. As Mary Beth Burton shows us, the election will keep Victoria candidate Patrick Hunt from attending his only daughter's wedding. Mary Beth joins us now with more on the story. Mary Beth. Hudson, many women have that traditional vision of their father walking them down the aisle on their wedding day. Well, Jennifer Hunt had that and so much more in mind. She wanted Conservative candidate Patrick Hunt to captain the bridal boat in the British Virgin Islands. But the election campaign is keeping Patrick anchored here at home. Have you decided whether you're going to uh, vote this, this time? Yes. Victoria Conservative candidate Patrick Hunt is going door to door in the Mount Tolmy area looking for political support. I've seen the center of gravity go out to the western shore. I want to reverse that. Hunt ran unsuccessfully for the Reform Party in 1993 and served as a Nova Scotian MLA in the 1970s. Many people will argue it's going to be an uphill political battle to win the Victoria riding from the incumbent Denise Savoy of the NDP and the Liberals Christopher Coston. Plus there's a very big personal sacrifice Hunt is making this time around. Hunt's only daughter, Jennifer, watched the non-confidence vote for many reasons. I was riveted. Politically, Jennifer didn't think the election was warranted. And then on a micro, my own personal um, perspective, um, obviously the ramifications of that is that my dad is not able to be at our wedding. Jennifer's wedding dress is simple and elegant. The wedding itself will be exotic and extravagant. On April 30th, Jennifer, along with her fiancé, Randon, plus 35 friends, will sail around the British Virgin Islands and the ceremony itself on a deserted island. We have um, organized four catamarans, um, two 44-foot catamarans, sailing catamarans, and two 50-foot catamarans. And the intention was for my dad and Deborah, my stepmother, his right-hand woman, um, to be the captain of one of those boats. You're missing all of that. And it's all paid for, too. <laughs> In all seriousness, the Victoria candidate says voters and his Conservative volunteers deserve 100% of his attention. For me to, to desert them after all they've done for me, I, I just couldn't uh, do that. And fortunately, my daughter and future son-in-law understand that. But we're planning a big party here in Victoria when, uh, when they do get back. Jennifer supports her dad and hopes the electorate in Victoria does too. If he's giving up coming to my wedding, he will be absolutely dedicated and devoted to Victoria. Jennifer plans to Skype her dad and stepmom so they can watch the reception. And Patrick will be making a visual statement himself on April 30th. Deborah and I are, are going to put on our uh, coral colored uh, dress in Deborah's case and a, a shirt on mine, a silk shirt, and that's what we're going to wear that whole day. Coral is the wedding color, and while Jennifer is honeymooning on the great blue sea, she's hoping the wave of conservative blue sweeps her father's riding. And if you're like me and wonder what it would cost to rent four catamarans to sail a week in the British Virgin Islands, well, it's about $20,000 for the boats alone. That's not crew or fuel or desert island wedding or even resort reception costs included. Still, it's a small fraction of what an average Canadian political candidate spends on a campaign. Elections Canada says that's pegged at about $80,000. But Hudson, many would argue that missing your child's wedding comes at a very high price for any parent. Priceless. Mary Beth, thank you.